Funding education in North Carolina remains a hot issue in the budget with teacher pay at the forefront. But while educators could be getting a raise, it's what will be taken away that has Piedmont area school systems concerned. Veronica White explains from Mount Harry. The Senate voted to pass a $21 billion spending plan, and the budget includes a pay increase for veteran teachers of about 11%, only if they give up teacher tenure, though. And a lot of school districts in the area are responding to this. Earlier, we heard from Forsyth County, but this affects smaller areas as well, like here in Mount Airy. Mount Airy School Superintendent Dr. Greg Little says this likely means one teacher will be cut and four teacher assistants, nearly $300,000 in teacher assistant funding. That's a lot for this small area, and they've also been dealing with cuts for five years now. They're hoping for a solution to give teachers raises, but in a way that doesn't hurt other services and to make gradual changes over time so that teachers, especially in elementary school, aren't trying to do more without teacher assistance. To me, that is disingenuous. We cannot, uh, we cannot ask our teachers to do that. We're all in favor of high standards. We all, I, I, I want all of our students to be reading proficiently by the third grade. But in order to do that, we have to have the resources to, to make that a reality. And the House is working on its version of the budget, and a final budget is due by July 1st. In Surrey County, I'm Veronica White, WXII 12 News.